Well. I didn't think you had it in you. I'm your huckleberry. Why, Johnny Ringo. You look like somebody just walked over your grave. But it's not with you, Holiday. I beg to differ, sir. We started the game we never got to finish. Play for blood, remember? I was just fooling about. I wasn't. Minister Farrakhan, may the God of our forefathers forever guide you on your journey. May your conceptual framework keeps broadening and may you take up the mantle and do God's work. May the God of our forefathers always guide us. Thank you. Brothers and sisters, Dr. Betty Chavez, please. Dr. Betty Chavez. Stop saying the nation of Islam killed Malcolm X. The nation of Islam did not kill Malcolm X any more than Muslimas Incorporated killed Malcolm X. Any more Malcolm's organization. Any more than the organization of African American unity. Malcolm's other organization killed Malcolm X. I want to quote Manny Marble. Put this on the record. Quote Professor Manny Marble the life a life of reinvention, Malcolm X. Quote, instructions came down from Chicago. Elijah Muhammad sent specific orders. He said, quote, don't touch Malcolm. Don't touch Malcolm. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, listen to He's being scandalized. And the most honorable Elijah Muhammad's name is still being scandalized. And now they're trying to throw the honorable minister Louis Farrakhan in too. But you cannot have it both ways, Fred. You cannot cherry pick history, Fred. It does not work that way. Why would Dr. Wesley make such a statement, Fred? that the nation of Islam did not kill Malcolm X any more than Muslim Mosque Incorporated or the OAAU. Why would Dr. Wesley say that, Fred? We want to hear from you. We don't hear you talking about the many, many different enemies that Brother Malcolm made outside of the nation of Islam. This is documented history. We don't hear you discussing the many roles that the FBI and the CIA and even the White House played in the murder of Malcolm X. You can't lie on history, Fred, because history shows that the CIA and the FBI 
and the White House were all involved with the assassination of Malcolm X. You are a pseudo historian. You are a pseudo historian. You're not no real historian. You're not no scholar. You don't appreciate history. When you bring up that lame claim about what Elijah Muhammad Jr. said, we answered it. When you bring up any so-called argument, we answered it. But you have the nerve to act as if nobody is saying anything to you about this. You have the nerve to act as if we ain't been answering you. Malcolm Flex has been on your head with the information for weeks. You ain't invincible, Fred. You think your foundation is rooted in truth? You cover boxing matches. You cover boxing bouts. But this is one fight you will not win. Your arms are way too short to box with God. So bring your wicked conglomerate of hypocrites. Give them your platform and watch us tear holes in every single one of their claims and their arguments. You want to lie on the nation and saying that the nation is threatening you over this cheap so-called movie rooted in lies and falsehood. We wouldn't even waste the time threatening you. You have known informants on your page. You have people on your page who brother Malcolm will never have sat with. And you think it's okay. Tell us, Fred, how come you haven't interviewed the wives of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad? Yeah, you want to make a movie called Nine Wives? Where are the wives, Fred? You got a sister playing one of the wives of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and we don't even know her damn name? Freddy! Freddy! How you got a movie called Nine Wives and you don't have the wives on the movie? Freddy. Let me show you something, Freddy. Let me read you what you wrote in December of 1964. The die is set and Malcolm shall not escape, especially after such evil, foolish talk about his benefactor, Elijah Muhammad, in trying to rob him of the divine glory which Allah has bestowed upon him. Such a man as Malcolm is worthy of death. This was only two months before he was shot down. So brothers and sisters, we are known for having the most peaceful meeting of any large group of people in America, and we intend to continue to have it. So now that everything is back to order, we shall proceed. Yes, sir. Nice try, Freddie. But we all know if the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan had anything to do with the murder of Malcolm X, they would have arrested him a long time ago. You want to use a sound bite out of 60 minutes? Where's the full 60 minutes? Mike Wallace? Mike Wallace didn't like Malcolm X? Are you kidding me, Freddie? Is this the best you got? Mike Wallace did not like the Nation of Islam. Mike Wallace did not like any type of black nationalist organization or movement in the 60s. He produced a film to hate the hate produce. You gotta come better than this, Fred. You gotta come better than this, Fred. This 
use is nothing. You're not proving a point. You think that we don't know about that clip? And you say you got bullets. Where? Blanks, Fred. You're shooting blanks. How is that a celebration of the murder of Malcolm X? Don't you know that it's standard for every Savior's Day that we actually applaud whenever a speaker comes up to speak after another speaker? You think you did your research? You didn't research that, Fred. That's not celebrating the murder of Malcolm X. We applaud after every speaker finished speaking. You're shooting blanks again. Freddy, help me out here, Fred. Come on, man. Help me out here. You got a film called Nine Wives with No Wives. You use a Mike Wallace's 60 Minutes clip without 60 Minutes. And you're shooting blanks. You call yourself getting threatened with no receipts. You got people saying that the Nation of Islam wearing dreads and kufis when we don't. Freddie, you're shooting blank after blank after blank and you think you actually are winning. Fred, come on, Fred. <laughs> Fred, is this really all you got? War, why do people sit down and talk after hatred and bitterness and bloodshed has been between them because it is the hope of man and woman to solve the problems that keep us from enjoying peace happiness and security why then would any of you mock this humble beginning toward the resolution of conflict this is why we want the fires on Malcolm X to be open so that the world may see the real truth of what went down. We want the truth to be made known so that we as a people can be made free of suspicion and of doubt and let the truth condemn whomever truth would condemn. But the people must go free. And we in the nation of Islam, as well as those outside of the nation of Islam, need to know all of the truth as it relates to the assassination of Brother Malcolm X. In my short meeting with Sister Betty Shabazz, she spoke for a few minutes, and in that few minutes that she spoke, I understood that there's something about this whole drama that I don't know, because I don't know her side. And if you don't know her side, and if you don't know what she went through, and if you don't know why she made the decisions that she made, how can we say we know the truth? We know our side, but we don't know her side, and we may not know all of our side, but the government knows all of the sides. So let's open the files up. Let us all see. Lying demons. They know that Farrakhan had nothing to do with the murder of Brother Malcolm X.